we've always seen Europe as a as a hub for us because actually, you know, we have a a, a bigger outbound feeder market actually coming into our hotels in Asia, in the Middle East, and most of the Europeans. You know, it's it's one of our biggest uh, client segment, and therefore, like you know, we've always wanted to have to be in Europe uh, as a for us to have a good brand presence as well so we've we've been looking at europe for a long long time and we were quite lucky to 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 enter europe sort of last year uh, so we are in portugal uh, and also we've managed to get into south america as well what about the uk does that figure on your on your radar of course because uh uk is a, is a big market for us uh, and also uk itself uh, i think it's one of the it's one of the great cities to live in, uh, and 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 it's got so much to offer in terms of culture, in terms of diversity, uh, from a tourism perspective and from a hospitality perspective. So, so UK, we've always seen UK as a as a hub for us uh, uh, in terms of investments. So you anticipate opening sites here by when? Yes, uh, we we've been looking at UK now for the last two years since we've managed to get into Europe. So I hope within the next two years, we'll have something here in the UK. There never, never seems to be a week goes by without some sort of terror incident somewhere in the world. How are you navigating your way through that? And how do you see tourists reacting at the moment? When you look at tourism today and when you look at the travel, you know, people are quite resilient. Uh, and, you know, there's always something somewhere in the world. Uh, and whether we like it or not, we have to live with it. Uh, and it's something you have to embrace. And it's something you have to be careful about, of course. Uh, but at the same time, you know, the guests today are, are much more resilient uh, and, and, and they are open to travel. And whatever happens, you know, like, uh, you know, from where we come from, you know, the, we've had some catastrophe almost every year. But ev every single time, you know, Thailand has always come, come up very strong. Uh, and, and it's the same thing, you know, people will love to go to these places. And in terms of opening a hotel in the UK, you're not deterred by Brexit at all? We're not, actually. You know, I think uh, we always see, you know, during a crisis, you see opportunities as well. Uh, and for us, you know, the timing is perfect uh, because uh, from an investment perspective, the UK pound is, is, is low. It, it's at its low, uh, it, which is quite attractive uh, to, to some of the Asian investors as well. Uh, and the market is still booming. Like, you know, when you look at some of the tourism statistics, you know, it's, it's still high. Uh, and yes, I think, uh, you know, these things are, it's very short term and things come and go and it, it will correct itself fairly soon.